Hi, and welcome to Melel. My name is Eyal. This video is the first in a series of videos that cover in depth one of Melel's most essential features, autotitles. In this video, I'll explain what autotitles are and show you how to insert, edit, and change autotitles. I'll also show you the outline and insert a table of contents. Autotitles are objects that you can insert into your document's text. They serve as headings for structural elements of your document and captions for images, figures, and tables. In addition to their role as headings and captions, autotitles provide the basis for other features like the outline, running headers, which are called mentions in Melel parlance, and table of contents. We'll cover these in depth in the subsequent videos. To help me demonstrate autotitles, I've prepared a document with some text and images. Let's open that. This document has several chapters and subchapters, and some accompanying images. But there's no formatting, and the entire thing is set in the body paragraph style. To insert an autotitle, place the insertion point where you want the autotitle to be, and choose Insert Autotitle Heading 1. The new autotitle object has the default title untitled. The title text is selected, so you can simply go ahead and type your title. When done, press return to end editing the title. The light gray background of the autotitle indicates to you that this is an autotitle. This background will not be visible in the final output. You can also insert autotitles using the autotitle palette. Place the insertion point at the desired location and double click heading 1 in the auto title palette. Note that if the palette is not visible, you can reveal it by choosing Window, Palettes, Auto Title. Type the title and press Return to finish editing the auto title. You don't have to type the title if the title text is already there in the document. You can select the text you want to turn into an autotitle and then insert the autotitle. Melel will use the selected text as the initial autotitle title. Press return to step out of editing the title. To edit an autotitle, you can double click it. The autotitle popover allows you to edit the title along with some other attributes of the autotitle. When done, click somewhere outside the popover to dismiss it. You can also edit the autotitle title directly in the text by clicking the autotitle once to select it, and after a short pause, click it again to edit the title. When done, press return or click outside to finish editing. So far, we've used Heading 1 to insert autotitles, but looking at the palette, we can see that there are a few other items here in the list. The items in the list are called autotitle streams. Every autotitle in the text belongs to a stream, and the stream defines how the autotitle looks and behaves. We use the Heading 1 stream for chapters, but our text also has subchapters. Let's use the heading 2 stream to create subchapter autotitles. So, let's select the text and this time double click heading 2. Note that the autotitle is using a slightly smaller font than heading 1 autotitles. Let's say I want to make an autotitle out of this text. I select the text and double-click the stream name in the palette. I made an error. 
I meant to assign this auto title to the heading 2 auto title stream, but double clicked heading 1 by mistake. I can fix that by double clicking the auto title to show the auto title popover. Here we can find the stream pop-up menu which allows us to assign the auto title to a different stream. Let's click that and choose heading 2. Click outside the popover to dismiss it and apply the change. Now we have all the tools we need to convert all the headings in the document into auto titles. So let's do that. So far, we've used the heading 1 and heading 2 streams for our auto titles. If you look in the palette, you'll notice that these streams have a black bolt or screw icon. This icon indicates that these streams are structure streams. Auto titles assigned to structure streams create headings for structural parts of the document, like chapters and subchapters. But we can use auto titles to label other elements like figures and images in the document. And for that, we use caption streams. Caption streams appear in blue and have a pushpin icon. Let's take this image and add a caption. Place the insertion point after the image and double click the image caption stream. Type the caption. and exit editing by pressing return or clicking outside. Notice that the word image and the number are not part of the title you type. The appearance of the auto title is a combination of a predefined format, a title you type, and the position of the auto title in the text. We'll show you how to configure that format in another video. To view the outline, click the Show Side Pane button at the bottom left corner of the document window. You can also reveal the outline by choosing View Outline. The outline gives you a bird's eye view of the entire document, showing you all the auto titles in the document. Click an item in the outline to jump to the corresponding location in the document. You can quickly find items in the outline by typing in the Filter field. You can click on any of the filtered items to jump to that location. There are many other things you can do in the outline, like outlining, editing the document structure, and more. We'll cover these in another video. Another Melel feature that is based on auto titles is Table of Contents. Once your document's headings are auto titles, adding a table of contents is very easy. To insert the table of contents, place the insertion point at the desired location and choose Insert Table of Contents. Inserting a table of contents is easy, but it doesn't mean you don't have full control over what is included in the table of contents and how it all looks. We'll cover table of contents in depth in another video. That's it for the auto title basics video. We covered a lot, but there's still much more to see with auto titles. We will dig deeper into the auto title feature in the following videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.